Dinu moyo wanga Alifa Omega Maine We're here located um, just eight kilometers outside of Mzuzu, a place called Rose Falls. Um, the location is on a slope um, which is an elevation of about 1,300 meters. It's um, a rain catchment area in a rain shadow. Um, in the background here we have the Kanangina Mountains and over that mountains you have the town of Mzuzu. Uh, the rainfall here is quite high of around uh, 2,000 millimeters um, compared to the rest of Malawi which makes it quite unique. You can see in the background we have a lot of indigenous forest. This property in particular is, is very steep, but what is just nice is most of the vegetation has been kept. We don't see the result of the erosion, which we see in a lot of the other areas. Uh, the crops grow well, especially your, your tropical crops like uh, bananas, pawpaws. Um, all those crops are growing very well. The landlord of this property planted these trees many years ago in the 1970s and he just left these um, coffee plants to grow. They just basically grew into big trees. These are from the original stock. They're not, um, they are like not a hybrid variety uh, called geisha. We took um, the seedlings that grew around the bottom of these and we planted them out between our banana plantation. We still have the original ram pump. Um, which he put in here in the, in the 1960s and it's amazing that this is still working and pumping water to our house. We're getting about um, three liters a, a minute, um, 24 hours and um, we can see the, uh, the, the drop from there to here is only about, it's about 2.5 meters. And that's pumping up to a head of about uh, 75 meters up to our house. Um, allowing some of the air to come out. Wonderful technology, no cost, allowing creation to work for you. Beautiful. We have about 50 layers that uh, we use, uh, we keep here. Uh, all our leftover kitchen scrap and also the, the damaged leaves from vegetables, we feed the chickens to improve the, the yolk, makes it much yellower and more nutritious. The eggs we sell and also use for our own home use. So um, we are keeping the chickens um, for the eggs and to sell eggs, but the other purpose of keeping the chickens is for the manure, which we are using in the compost pile, which we use for the gardens, but also for training purposes. So we had the chicken manure back there, which is our nitrogen source. And then here we have our materials, which we've collected from this lush environment here. Um, we've got uh, green stuff, dry stuff, and here we have some sticks um, for aeration. Um, so um, we would make a thermal compost pile out of this, uh, which takes about um, six to eight weeks to mature. And over here we have a pile, um, which is maturing. This pile is uh, um, nine weeks old. Um, you can see it's beautiful material, which we find in the forest floor below, below us here. Really nice, nice uh, material, which is very good for the garden. Got lots of nutrients, um, which we are using on the garden here. So here we have a, a station where we doing training. Every second month we will have a training of about 10 people and trying to create a, a model which people can um, come and see and then go and practice in their home. <laughs> When we are not training, we spend most of our time in the field 
which is an area of Mzimba, which is about 50 kilometers from here where the area starts. This is a vast area, which is particularly a tribe called the Nguni tribe. And this is where we're doing most of our, our work, promoting the foundations for farming, bringing the gospel. Um, we link up and partner with uh, mission organizations um, and churches, the Baptist um, in particular. Um, another church group is the CCAP, which have invited us to do the training in that area. Amuye, 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 Amuye,